Hello, beautiful. And how you doing? You're listening to Words From Within, a poetry podcast about love and pain in West Baltimore. I'm your host, Gail Danley. And if you're just joining us for the first time, shame on you. So the premise is four families who are part of a community in Baltimore called SLYC, S-L-Y-C, which stands for St. Luke's Youth Center. Each of these families takes a poetry workshop. Some of them have written, some of them have not, but they use poetry to bond. They use poetry to tell the stories of their lives. So welcome to episode four. It's titled, A Quiet Space for Love in Baltimore. This episode features my girl, the one and only Dehaja Ma'at, and Danielle and her family with two kids, Gabby and CJ. One thing I noticed is how they really gave themselves to Dehaja, especially CJ. I mean, it was like they found the teacher in her. They found the friend. They found the auntie Dehaja. <laughs> they found the sister. So as a teaching artist for a long time, going back and forth across Maryland, is there something I've always wanted to do? And it's going to happen. I'm not giving up hope. I, I really want to pull my babies together from Howard County or from Towson, Maryland, or from Potomac, Maryland. And I want to put them in the same room, in the same classroom with my babies from Baltimore. And I mean, deep in the heart of Baltimore, in the city, North Avenue babies. I want to put them in the room with, with, with the other kids. Because I want to confirm what I already know. That no matter where my babies live, no matter who their mamas are, no matter what they eat for dinner every night, they are all worthy. I just, I, I just think it would be so fascinating to, to, to behold the dynamic as this group writes the poetry of their lives and that group writes the poetry of their lives and they read that poetry to each other out loud, you know, and then they get a chance to see at the end of the, of the workshop Oh my goodness, all those things I've heard about you, they're not they're not true. You are just like me. We are also brilliant. We are all such great writers, all such great kids. I'm, I'm not going to stop till that happens one day. I, and I know it will. I know it will because we're living in a brand new day and we're taking all sorts of risks. So I'm not giving up hope. As I listened to this particular episode, I felt a little jealous of the bond that they shared. I mean, I, I, I wondered, would my sons participate? Right. If I brought my sons to the microphone and I said, OK, we're going to have a poetry workshop, not with mama, but with somebody you've never met. Would they have been as willing as CJ and Gabby or would they, have, you know, walked away like, no, mom, I ain't doing that. <laughs> you crazy. What's for dinner? <laughs> so I, I just, you know, I felt I felt jealous of what they were able to do with each other. But it was a sweet jealousy. It was the best kind. It was sweet like this episode. I want you to climb in and I want you to enjoy. My name is Deheja Ma'at. I was born in Washington, D.C. I live in Maryland now, and I am a teacher. I'm also a certified yoga teacher, and I am a writer and a poet who loves to, you know, make everything about peace and love, I think. <laughs> One of the things I liked, Deheja, was how you began your session with CJ and 
Gabby and Danielle, you asked what their expectations were and what they wanted to get out of it. I would have to say, because I got a lot of time on my hands today. Just okay. Tomorrow we got no school. I will say a great experience. All right, CJ. So you want to have an experience. Okay, I'm down with that. How about Gabby? What are you, what are you looking to get out of the day? Have fun. Have fun. Oh, okay. This is very positive so far. All right, let's see what mama says. It's doing something with my kids other than schoolwork. Yeah, I feel you on that. It's an honor to be able to guide somebody through their first experience of poetry. (laughs) So when they said that to me, it made me feel even more confident that what I was bringing was going to be a new experience. So it got me excited. Let's start how I start. Let's bring our shoulders all the way up to our ears. I always start with taking a deep breath. Um, When you do that, you release stress and anxiety that you might be holding in. When we are stressed, we tend to hold our breath. And when we hold our breath, we constrict oxygen to our brain and then cause us to not really think straight or freely. So just breathing techniques alone help to just free your mind and help you be more open. Our two big topics for this podcast are love and pain. And you asked everyone what they love. Oh, and my favorite thing, Legos. Your favorite thing is? Legos. Legos is amazing. We have a part of our after-school program. We have a, a Lego program, and some of the kids build, like, movable objects, like windmills and things like that. And it's the beginning stages of engineering. And engineering is a great field to go into. So don't let anybody down you about your Lego building. The haters are going to hate. <laughs> I told him he's going to be very creative when he grow up because he loves Legos. And he put them together in no time. Gabby. He loves slime. <laughs> I know how to make all types of slime, Gabby. What's your favorite kind? Edible. Ew. Edible. Ed- Edible. Edible slime is real, but I don't like it. Ew. It's nasty. Okay, so hold on. Let me, let me understand this. Let me understand this. There's a product that is called slime that people are eating. I mean, is that is that what I'm hearing? It's not my favorite. T- it's, I don't even I don't even play with edible slime. Oh, I like little stretchy slime. I love the candid little moments of interaction, where you get a real glimpse into the family's life and how they communicate and how they love. This is what I want to do. I want to hear what you wrote first. You want to go first, DJ? Okay, hold on. Let me get let me get comfortable because I want to listen to this situation. I said, I'm going to go through some pain, but I keep trying. I always work through it, and I keep trying. Keep doing what I say I want to. Be free. Always be yourself. Wow. I want to say this. I really am so thankful honestly, that you all would share your words with me. I mean, What it made me think was, this is someone who has already experienced pain and already, you know, at such a young age has the wisdom to know that life can be painful and that it may come again. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we, our kids have to grow up pretty fast, Gail. (laughs) And it's wonderful that he can acknowledge what's going on within him with words. Some people don't have the words and lash out or, or do things that are damaging to themselves or their family. So for him to be able to put a name to his feelings and to put them down on paper and to share them is a very big deal. Um, I have a son myself and It is very hard being a young black man right now um, in general, but even more so right now with the state of the world that we're in, living in a pandemic where you are confined to your home. I was 
really happy that his words will be um, shared with the world through this podcast because I feel like they're needed. Maybe someone else will hear his words and feel what I felt, feel a connection and be compelled to write how they feel also.